All right, the numbers are going down. I mean, up, which is a good thing. <laughs> there's, uh, there's stuff over there, which is a good thing. I think maybe testing this would have been a good thing. I w yeah. Before now. Yeah, I know. It would have been really good, right? <laughs> but, I mean, I tested it before we started it, like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to Rhythm and Booze. I'm Mikey. And I'm Nikki. And this is a podcast where we talk about all sorts of shit, like what new toys we have on the table this week. <laughs> Do you know what this name is? Do you know what this is called? A Zoom recorder. Fuck. Okay. I was about to get you with that one. <laughs> it is called a Zoom <laughs> It is called a Zoom recorder. Uh, it's a fancy Zoom recorder. It's got, like, it's like, looks like an EQ board. Which I, that's probably not how you say it anyways, but mm -hmm. it's really fun. I, I got it. I was super, super excited. And I didn't open the box <laughs> until we were 10 minutes before recording. Um, so I hope it's recording right now, which it looks like it is. And the, the, the lights are going up and down. Yeah, it looks great. You did a great <laughs> job. I'm so proud. You're going to be... <laughs> you're so happy it works. And if it doesn't work, you're also very happy because then you get to be like, I told you! I would never. A little bit? Maybe. Maybe a little bit. Um, <laughs> so we had a crazy ass week. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and my daughter's in the show Shrek, the musical. And I was roped in. I was. I, I heard this new t um, term called voluntold. Oh, no. I was voluntold <laughs> that I was on makeup. It's like a dance for the show. Thing, right? Yeah. A theater mom. Theater oh, mom thing. No. Which is fine. It, it was fun. I had a good time. But this show has crazy, intense makeup changes. Like, the kids start out with full-on green makeup. Like Shrek. Yeah, come running off stage with one number to get out of green makeup, in the and show makeup, sometimes in the mouse makeup. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I was thinking. I was like, I saw so many mouse makeup people, and I was like, wow. Yeah. Or like the little bear, the little girl. There's the three, three, the three bears. Mm -hmm. Mama bear, papa bear, and the little bear. The baby bear. The baby bear was so cute because yeah. she always looked like she was like, Looking out at the audience for someone she knew and she just couldn't find them. Yeah. She's like, <laughs> so, cute. so adorable. There was a one little girl on the show. She must have been six years old and she was the most well spoken child I've ever met in my life. And she came up to me at one point and she was like, um, excuse me, I'm going to have a quick change. And on my quick change, I am going to need this, this, and this. And this needs to happen and that needs to happen. Thank you so much. And walked away and I was like, what? <laughs> <Just happened. laughs> this kid is way more of a pro than I will. It's like be. a six-year-old, right? Because yeah. she was real mm -hmm. tiny. I remember she had the she had a, a really great line in the show when Shrek walks on stage and like scares everybody in the castle, and she's like, "Hi, the children!" Yeah, <laughs> like in the tiniest little squeakiest voice, all the way to stage left. It was so cute. I learned a lot being backstage at this show. Uh, theater kids are amazing. <laughs> no, they really are. They're amazing. They're incredibly Full stop. smart. I'm trying to figure out what this. They're so smart and they're so funny. And it's funny, one of the other makeup artists had this text thread going with her husband and it was shit Pinocchio said. Yeah. <laughs> because he would say the funniest things. I can't even think of an example right now. That they're kid just, was great on stage. He was so good and he said the funniest, smartest things backstage and all the adults would turn to look at each other like, did you hear that? <laughs> Come out of this game? During the show, uh, they when Pinocchio came on stage and told a lie, his nose would grow and it would literally grow because he had this little pool thing and it was so perfect. It landed every time because I think the audience didn't expect it. Mm -hmm. It was so great. By the way, I saw it four times out of six this weekend. Mm -hmm. I can't say that's the winner because the winner is... Arjuna, my son, he <laughs> saw it all six times. <laughs> I felt so bad. By the end, he's just playing on his phone, yeah. like slumped over playing, in the chair. <laughs> playing on his phone, and then the phone cuts out at intermission. He's like, my phone died. I was like, okay, that's cool. He's like, what am I going to do? I'm like, <laughs> take notes and <laughs> give us notes. And he had he had a lot of notes at the end of it. He's like, yeah. well, the first one wasn't as good as the second. And the last one didn't oh, sound yeah. so great. No, he was a theater critic yeah. by the end of it. <laughs> Yeah, full notes for everyone. Yeah, I was uh, I, I was thinking of, I'm like, I don't know if we have time this week, but I was like, oh, we gotta like give him something because he went to all six shows and he was great. The last one, a little squirrely, but he like did so good. I almost want to like take him out of school and just be like, well, he, he has a half day tomorrow and then he's done. So, yeah, 
the word and then <laughs> yeah, the we have about a school yeah. for Thanksgiving break. Yes, that's a point. That's a great idea. <laughs> no, it is great. My daughter did great. She was uh, Papa Shrek. She mm-hmm. opened the show, and then she was uh, one of the three blind mice, and. You gotta tell and But you gotta tell the the, the, the oh, three blind yeah, mice story. Yeah. <laughs> so I I was helping backstage, but I wasn't there until this week for Tech Week, and she kept talking for weeks. She's been talking about her her Gaga dress and her Gaga boots, mm-hmm. and she's wearing these this Gaga stuff for this like three blind mice number. And I didn't understand. And I thought maybe they were like basing it on Lady Gaga, mm-hmm. or whatever. And I get there, and I see that she's got Go Go boots. Yeah. <laughs> And a little like '60s looking go-go dress, and I was like, "Oh, oh go-go. go-go! You mean go-go?" Yeah. She's like, "Hates me because I keep telling that story." Every time. <laughs> <laughs> but but I love that story because you sent me that picture. I go, I had the same feeling. I was like, "Oh, go-go! <laughs> oh, I finally yeah. get it." Yeah, but it was cute. It was baby's first uh, showgirl. Yeah, and she's she like shimmy she like this background dancer. <laughs> It was super cute. It was really great. Uh, congratulations to the Arts and Learning. Yes, they're amazing. They're amazing. They're a private school, uh, privately funded, and they put on productions all year round with kids from 19 and younger. 18, I think. 18. Or even 17. I don't even know. I forgot. Yeah, something like that. And these kids are amazing. Going on stage and doing these quick changes and singing as they were. It was amazing. Yeah. So congratulations to all of them. Right in the middle of that, though, on Saturday, we left and we had a show in San Diego. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was a USO show that was put on as a fundraiser for a veterans hall. Yeah. And <laughs> it was great. We had to prep <laughs> a little bit for the show. Um, they wanted us to do a Lindy Hop number, which is fine. We love doing that. Um, but we haven't done a full, fast Lindy Hop number together in a minute. Too long. <laughs> and we were dying at rehearsals. Yeah, we had a couple rehearsals and uh, we would go through it once and then our lungs were burning we're like, okay, good. Let's try one more time. That was okay. Let's try a little better. And the second time, I just fall apart. It was so, so like upsetting because I was like, oh, I remember doing this and not feeling bad. And now I feel bad. Yeah, it wasn't so bad. Like we we got through it. The performance was great. Everyone loved us. <laughs> I was the only one doing a burlesque performance in the show, which I didn't know. <laughs> so the only person that I didn't know you. until I was there. <laughs> and I'm asking the other performers, like, are you stripping? Are you stripping? Are you stripping? And everybody's like, no. no? I'm like, what do you mean? We know these people. We brought you in, so you know they would be, you know, tantalized. Yeah, and I, I was doing a big, big fan dance with big ass like fans. Yeah, big ass fans uh, in the style of Sally Rand. Um, which, if you don't know who that is, go look it up on YouTube. Do your history. <laughs> but it was great. They loved it. That kind of fan dance always goes over well with um, older people. But also like very like people that aren't in. Scene, in, yeah. Don't have never been to a burlesque yeah. show before because it just looks like a, a spectacle and it's pretty and it's it is more accepting. A <laughs> it's very <laughs> spectacle where you're like, ooh, shiny, shiny, shiny. Wait, what are those? <gasps> those are pretend nipples. <laughs> they're stars. Pasties. Yeah, pretend nipples. They, they're no, they're stars. <laughs> they're not pretend nipples. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying all pasties are pretend nipples to me. Because I'm like, oh, that's where they're supposed to go. Uh huh. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Okay, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> You'll see boobs at a burlesque show. Yes, you will. That's the point. That's all I'm going. Thanksgiving is coming. I love Thanksgiving. I love eating. We're going mm-hmm. to two Thanksgivings this year. Yep. And then Black Friday. Black Friday. I am a sucker for Black Friday. <laughs> yeah, you are. I love it. I love to get up at 4 a.m. <laughs> and go get coffee yep. and... Be the first one there. <laughs> You've gotten some really cool shit on Black Friday. Oh, I really I'm have. always impressed. Yeah. I, it, my mom always used to go. We used to have this tradition where we always did Thanksgiving at my grandma's house mm-hmm. in Vegas. And all the, the aunts would get up early in the morning and go. Yeah. And that was like the thing. And I think when I was little, I was like, that's so cool. They're going to go see all the yeah. toys. <laughs> so I don't know. I have a thing for Black Friday. I love oh, it. Oh, yeah. We're going. We're going for sure. And uh, we're going to have our own. Black Friday sales. We're going to have our own Black Friday sales at the dance store and the ballroom. Yep. Uh, which are... Not telling yet. Not telling yet. Yeah. Well, I mean, by the time this comes out... Tomorrow? Tomorrow. Oh, shit. <laughs> I got to get this set tonight. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It'll be great. Yeah, it'll be fun. Uh, but uh, today's show is really, really special because we have our first in-person interview since uh, Jonathan Stout. 
which I believe is still going actually. It's that long. <laughs> it's still going on right now. Uh, but we're really, really happy. Like this is why we have these drinks and we'll talk about them in a little bit. So right now we'd like to bring on our really good friend, uh, comedian, MC, amazing dancer, amazing dance teacher, and uh, makes a, a hell of a strong drink. Please welcome Andre Gordon. Hey! hey! You made it! You made it! That was like, amazing. Like you, you were here, then you were here, and then you brought drinks. Summoned me like a genie. And Brown Santa got moved a little. Brown Santa clothes. <laughs> hey! So I am so excited. Good. Huh? Um, when you started doing this, I was like. Oh my gosh, I love this podcast so yeah. much. I cannot wait to get another episode. And they're like, we're going to put you on one. I'm like, what? No. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when we first yeah. started, or before uh-huh. we even started, I was like, we're doing a podcast. We want to have you on. You're yeah. like the first person that I ever would have thought of to have on. Yeah. And exactly. you're like, why not? <laughs> exactly. I don't do anything. Um, and and then you, I kind of do. And so. now you do a lot. Yeah, I'm, I feel which, like I'm doing a lot. Which we're definitely going to get into. Yeah. Yeah. Before we do that. What the hell are we drinking? Because you brought these awesome drinks over. Yeah, I, we are drinking um, whiskey mules. They're a little like spicy. Decided to kick them up a notch. Um, but we're using Dickel, and we put uh, a little bit of like Reed's Extra Strong mm. ginger beer in it. And then we muddled in a little bit of uh, jalapeno with the lime juice. And I just wanted, uh, I wanted something a little... Yeah, it was. Cool. It's really good. It's delicious. It's, I, it. I, I love it. It's, it's I love really, it. really tasty. Good. Uh, in fact, it was so funny that uh, you brought it over and you said it's a little spicy. I was like, oh, I love spicy. And you're like, look, turn to me. And you're like, well, you know, how does the, the white girl? Look? The green guy. And I was like, oh no, 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 no. She, <laughs> she's desert white. She loves it real spicy. If there's a spicy thing on the menu, she's like, I'm gonna get it. Okay. Well, what's funny is I was, I already told you guys this story, but now I have to tell everybody. Uh, before I came downstairs, <laughs> the only lip, lip gloss I have upstairs was the, oh. like, the one that stains your lips and makes them puffy. So I will be fine. Nobody's going to see me. <laughs> so then I came down here and took a drink of this and my lips are already burning. I'm like, oh, that's really spicy. Pain of beauty. Between that's the right. ginger beer, the lip balm, the jalapeno, like, let's just get you to the ER immediately. Yeah. <laughs> She's going to be walking around. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing the Santa doesn't run around anymore. I know. But this is, these, are, these are awesome. This is so, so, Perfect. so good. Uh, uh, I want to tell another joke because she's like, a mule. Like, oh, she doesn't want to do a lot. Like, she's making a drink. I was like, it's like a spirit and ginger beer. Like, that's like the only note, Basically, like drink I know. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> It's, it's cheating. They like they they feel like they're a lot. Like they taste like they're a lot, but they're they're, they're really good. It's, th- yeah. You made this like strong the way I like it too. So thank you. Fantastic. Very much. Um, what? Who? I can't believe you went on a fucking tour. Like that's amazing. Yeah. yeah. The swing out tour, which was the big theatrical thing that was brought out of New York. Yes. And I'll let you kind of tell about it. Yeah. So um, so swing out uh, the. They put it together, um, it's at the Joyce Theater for a couple of weeks, and then they decide to take it out on the road. I saw it on the road, like when it was here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think you guys saw it in New York first. Yeah. We went to, not opening night, but it was like... I think we saw the second the show. The second show. Wow. When it first opened. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I I, um, I saw it when they went to, um, what is the performing whatever in L.A.? The place. Uh, the, the place, the music center. Music yes, the music center. Yeah. Jeez. Hard words. You um, know where music is, and it's the center of the city, center, and the music a, center. The, like the middle, the of, middle it, of it, like the exact middle of it. Around. Sound. <laughs> um, so, I saw it there, um, uh, and my name's told Latasha there. Latasha, um, Barnes and I didn't know each other until she came out for Swing Out. Oh, okay. And, um, and we had like a, a, you know, really cool connection. We, uh, you know, hit it off right away. And we all, of course, knew of each other in right. the dance community small enough that that was a thing. Um, and uh, she had mentioned as we were talking that some of the original cast weren't going to be able to continue with the mm-hmm. tour. And so, um, you know, it, that was kind of like as much as we talked about. And then I, uh, you know, a couple of months later got an email that asked me if I wanted to join the cast. And, um, you know. That's the interview. And yeah, I guess so. She did. Um, you know, and, like it, it's the whole thing was just sort of wild. I was like, oh no, like 
Someone's made a terrible mistake. Um, it's like, oh man, who do they think I am? Um, <laughs> the Andrea Warner from California, <laughs> not the one from Minnesota. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, let me sh- let me send you some of my reference materials. So yeah. You can be like, oh no, no, no. Um, no, but it was it, it was amazing. Like I I couldn't like I would have never guessed at any point. I would never envisioned myself mm-hmm. being yeah. um, a part of it. Um, but once I was doing it, I felt like I needed to be there. The mm-hmm. one there, it was. It was awesome. It was such a great experience. And it, uh, it was created by uh, what they call themselves the Brain Trust, right? Yeah. And who was that? Who was that? All four people? Oh my goodness. Um, what if I get this wrong? Um, <laughs> it's not a test. Nathan View. Uh, Is it Vita? Avita? Yeah. Avita and Caleb. Caleb. Um, and Natasha? Yes. I think yes. it's four, right? Yes. I, yeah. I think. I was like legitimately like trying to think like... Okay. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you put me on the spot. But, uh, but yeah, those are, those are the four. Um, and then the, like, you know, obviously hugely talented, um, dancers, but like the entire original cast are just like, like monsters. Like they're just Mm -hmm. like all the people that, you know, I was dancing and like looking up to and being like, Oh, I'm so afraid of you. You know, like it's just, um, like a murderer's row of like really good and talented, uh, you know, solo and, uh, partner dancers. And so it was just a great experience to like be able to like learn, from them and learn with them um, on the tour and kind of figure out who I am as a dancer right now. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it was it was cool. There's like there's nothing I can think of that can compare to that experience right now. Yeah. What are the kind of uh, revelations did you kind of go through as a dancer? Oh my god, um, so many. Like just like you know, it, I think that like as a dancer, I'm the kind of dancer who I look at a social dancer. Mm. Like making mistakes is part of the art, and mm. I, I just like you know I go and I have fun, but like. I never thought of like my body as like an instrument and you know in that yeah. took like, a whole different sort of mindset and training um you know like we went to the first rehearsal and um I was sort of like prepared you know like I, I I practiced uh the choreo from videos and stuff but like we got into the rehearsal space and uh <laughs> and everyone is like Full on like stretching, like they are like, <laughs> yeah. they are, like real dancers. Yeah, all exactly. Like, right. Real yeah. dancers like mm-hmm. stretch, and like there are yoga mats, there are like towels being mm-hmm. used to pull things, there are like <laughs> fair guns, yeah. just like, and everyone's going off. And I literally just stood in the corner, and was just like, mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. just like pull this arm this way. Oh my gosh! Pull this arm this so way. <laughs> exactly. Totally giving up and just like, oh yeah, this is, yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that. Um, and just like being wrecked every day, just yep. like yeah. um, that whole thing. And then being like, oh yeah, I'm like, I, I can, you know, dance or whatever, but I've never really done choreography like they do. Like, I, because of my social dancer, and that's kind of like my bread and butter. And then like when I, you know, competed, I, I competed mostly in mix and matches. Yeah. And so it was just like, oh, just go out there and dance. But like um, choreography is an exercise for your brain that like oh, I, yeah, I just totally. I mean, I think that hi, you're probably the only person that I've ever worked on choreography yeah. with you and, and maybe <laughs> not Reggie. And um and it was just like it was so tough to like get it into my brain and not like wear myself down mentally, mm-hmm. not like be like, God damn it, Andrew, you get this you know, it was yeah. just yeah. so hard to like stay productive and positive when you were just like felt like you were failing but that was another thing that i thought was really amazing about this cast is because like everyone like made you feel comfortable with where you were and like the journey and the experience Mm -hmm. yeah and i just like made mistakes or whatever and people were just so like encouraging and positive and just like don't worry i get it it's gonna be fine and then you know it it was it was just like this it was teaching myself to like just go a little bit further Mm -hmm. I think that like so many times with like things that are new experiences I get right up to the point where it's like oh this is a hard thing and I like back off of it oh yeah yeah totally pushing through this is something that like I am not I don't have a ton of experience with and I I got it on this tour yeah I think it's really funny because like as you're saying all this stuff of the experiences especially with choreography it like I completely uh see you what is it like seven eight years ago now Oh my god. Right? Was it 14? 
13? 13 maybe? 13? Is it 13? Yeah. I mean, like, it was a long time ago that we did our routine at, yeah. at LHC for the yeah. promo. They posted that today. I saw did that. Lit, uh, yeah, yeah. Fuck, it's posted it. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, that's what I'm listening. <laughs> Let's go watch it. Uh, but I think I remember that. Um, I, I remember it hopefully very similarly because it was like, I mean, I'll say it wasn't the best experience because not because of you, but because of me. And I remember, yeah, I remember my, my personality back then was very, very, very too forward. And I think I, <laughs> I pushed you to your limit and I saw that, that beginning feeling that you had of like, maybe I'll just back away. And I was like, no, do it five more times and now do it by yourself. Now, I, um, I think you're, you're maybe being too hard on yourself. Yeah. I think that like, you did, you did push me, but I felt like, uh, not in like a, like, not in, not in a terrible way. It was like, you know, it was like real, like, you know, this is like, you know, movie worthy. Like, yeah. you were just a hardened, like, you'd seen <laughs> some things in the Lone Pop experience, and like, you just Barely. didn't have been around. Yeah, right. Around right. The block. right. I, think, yeah. I think, you know what it was? I re again, I remembered it like little flashes of you, and I remember. That there was something you just kept saying. You just kept saying, "I don't know, I don't know." I was like, yeah. I was like, "You gotta stop saying that." Yeah, like, I remember you, that. <laughs> you, you gotta like try to like. If you don't like something, tell me so we can change it. Or we, if you like something, we right. can go in that way. And like, it was so difficult for you to try to do that. But you slowly, you know, with our every time we practiced or rehearsed, it, right. and we would try to get new stuff in there, and then we try to work on the other stuff. And definitely, there were so many things that were like way outside of your comfort zone but you just yeah. attacked it and I'll, I'll never forget because after we performed it like walking back to the crowd afterwards like how many people were like stopping us yeah Remember? and you were yeah. like what's going on <laughs> what did I do I just, I just want to get to the bathroom yeah, yeah. Um, that that whole experience too was another one that was like that was well obviously tough for me but like changed everything in a lot of ways mm -hmm. um but do you remember, like, I, I, I threw up right before? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, man, we're doing this. And I was like, I feel like I'm going to throw up. Yeah, and I was like, like, be back in, like, two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> so, Go do it. Go do just it. Take care of it. Go do right it. Back. Um, but, yeah, that was that was another experience where it's like, I, I think I learned a little bit about, like, being assertive. And, like, I feel like all of this is, like, in ways training. Um, but not, like, just to be a dancer, but to, like, be more me. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. But, like, yeah, I think they've all, like, or plots where there's been a shift or a phase shift in, like, who I am. Yep. Um, yeah. What I loved yeah. about Swing Out, in general, the show, is that it it highlights social dancing. And you talked yeah. about being primarily a social dancer. And um, that's the magic, I think, that that show brings. And that's something that Lindy Hopper showcased really, really well amongst other dancers mm -hmm. is that you're so comfortable improvising social dancing with another person mm -hmm. uh in a performance setting and you bring that experience to the show i think is part of that magic and it's not always perfect now i didn't get to see you in the it show really i'm was. super super <laughs> bummed no yeah. i'm so bummed i didn't get to see you in the show but, but the two times that i did see it that's what I loved the most about it. Yeah, was when it wasn't perfect, mm -hmm. when it was more real and it was more social. Yeah, I think I that was the magic of the show. I feel like I have a story about that. One of them, <laughs> so bad. Tell us, but <laughs> I, I will share because I'm the butt of this joke. So, um, <laughs> so it, and like I think I got in my head a lot at the beginning because like you know the original cast members who weren't there are all dancers and just like in my. My personal feelings, I love their dancing so much that I felt like it was weird that I'm standing in. You know, like, it doesn't right, feel like... Yeah. Uh, and, like, everyone, like, they... Oh, my gosh. They tried so hard to beat it into my, like, thick skull that, like, I don't have to, like, replace that person's dancing. Like, they're just going to showcase what makes my dancing, you know, good. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, okay, so this is the story. So, um... <laughs> So we got into uh Sorry, we're fix this thing, sir. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, no. Um we we flew into Des Moines at like midnight <clears throat> and uh we were sort of just receiving some information about what the next day was gonna be like and I realized that we were doing a school show and this is one of the things that I think is great about uh swing out is that they did a bunch of educational experiences. <laughs> oh my god, did you just die? What happened? <laughs> Bernie lips helping you. <laughs> Yeah, she's gonna um, make it. Doesn't work, girl. She's just like, just like, it's a flush. 
I'm just turning a little bit red. It's okay. Oh, it's fun. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Continue. The school. Don't mind her. So uh, they, they made sure that everywhere they went, they um, that, you know, cast members were teaching women okay. art classes mm-hmm. or yeah. visiting a school. And we put on a couple of um, school performances. And so every time we did, like, these little mini shows, uh, whoever the showrunner was at the time this for this regular show was Anita. She would kind of dole out, like, um, assignments as far as, like, we gotta tell the kids about like solo jazz. We gotta tell the kids about like improvisation and all mm-hmm. those things. And so, um, I, this was the first time I was kind of being in an assignment, and I had to talk about. And gosh, I wish I could like remember specifically what she told me to talk about. But I basically had to talk about uh, what social dancing was and what like partner mm-hmm. dancing was. And so, um, it got to that point. I'm nervous because that's me, and uh, I'm. <laughs> talking to all these kids and they're like they were so little they like precious like um I think we had kindergarten through like fourth fifth grade and so like the little ones like in the front like were sitting cross-legged in these chairs because they couldn't even touch like the floor you know they were so happy <laughs> and so um so I get up there and I'm like I'm out of breath because like yeah uh we were just done <laughs> we just done uh one of the numbers and I'm supposed to go up there and tell them about partner dancing and like the history of it, and I was telling them how, like, you know, uh, people used to learn these dances from their parents, and they would dance in their living rooms, and then they would share with their friends. And I was like, you can learn to dance, and you can share with your friends, and you can just make stuff up on the spot. And then I kind of like got stuck somewhere <laughs> in the explanation, and I was just like, it's like if you learn something together, that's choreography. But if you're just doing stuff and you make something up and it doesn't work, oh man, that's that's jazz. Yeah. And so, like, I got into this thing where it's just like, let's say it together. On the count of three, we're going to say, that's jazz. And I had all these little kids going like, that's jazz. <laughs> and so, um, and I was just trying to tell them that it's okay to mess up. You right. know, like, but, okay, so that night in Des Moines, there is one number that just, it, it, I just could not get it right. Over and over again, I would make a mistake. And I practiced and practiced and practiced and got so in my head that, like, that night I did the one part that was getting wrong correctly, but then managed to fuck up everything. <laughs> just everything else. So there was one point where I did, like, a double turn in a place where there was no turn. Just, <laughs> just <laughs> by myself. This seems right. <laughs> and I was no, so me. upset at myself. And by the time that the show, like, ended, I was in the wings. I was, like, teary-eyed. I was just, like, this is not great. And Caleb came up to me, and he was just like, hey, it happens. It's fine. Like, just so loving and kind. And he walked away, and I did not feel good. I was like, nope, this is the worst. I hate this. And so, (laughs) this is where actually is fun. Brandon Barker. (laughs) Brandon Barker, I love you so much. Brandon Barker came and sat next to me. And he's like he's just he's he's young mm-hmm. and he's just wonderful and he just wants to be everyone's like good friend. Mm-hmm. And he goes, so he's like, what's wrong, you know? And I was like, oh, I messed up acapella again. And he goes, oh, well, that's jazz. <laughs> <laughs> I died. I was just like, I have no right to be upset <laughs> because he just handed me a yeah. big old helping of my own lesson. <laughs> Like you're absolutely right. Jazz. So, that, yeah. that, like, that, that is the best way to just like just be like, and that's my time. <laughs> <laughs> but it was it was so perfect and timely. And it wasn't meant to be a joke. He was just sincerely trying to give me some advice, and I was like, you're right. That is the best, absolute best advice advice uh, you could give me in this moment. So. Oh, that's pretty awesome. awesome. I mean, that's, I, I feel like the, I'm going to go out of order, but that's a good segue into your whole world of uh, four, 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 way, four, way, four, 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 yeah. But the yeah, universe sure. was like, yeah. okay, you had a tough time. Here you go. You get one thing. Here you get one thing. Yeah. It's like, well, you already have it, Andrea, but here you go. Comment. <laughs> well, okay. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, seriously. I mean, I, mean I, I, I feel like uh, uh, we have so many stories of you. 
at this point and like yeah. separately I'm like she's the funniest person I know and like yeah, it's thanks. because it's always like within the right moment it's a tiny thing I, I mean I have no idea about that really but like I just know like every time you hit it hits and it lands it goes I so remember cool. when I first met you years ago forever ago <laughs> and I remember thinking gosh she's so funny she's so funny like the entire time I've known you I always I feel like I've been manifesting for you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like that might be true. I actually feel like that might be true. I, I don't think that... I don't think comedy was my idea. Um, I, just, I think it's something that uh, people who love me... Um, <laughs> um, yeah. Just kind of like keep kind of putting it in the back of my mind. And, you know, I, I love comedy. It, it definitely is a pandemic uh, gift. I think I spent so much time being sad <laughs> that um, I just ended up watching a lot of comedy. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, uh, find myself in like zoom shows so that I can see like live comedy, Mm -hmm. um, in these zoom shows. And then like, because you're in zoom, you're in this weird way, like sort of closer to the stage. Mm -hmm. There's a very thin membrane, um, between yourself and like whoever the comedians are. And then, um, I started getting encouragement, uh, from professional comics to try it. So, um, that's how that kind of came about. Um, but it's been it's been a really fun journey. It's been um, it's funny how much comedy is not comedy <laughs> at yeah. all, um, but just kind of like hanging out and sort of just naturally having conversations and hoping that you're funny. I don't know. Yeah, I mean it's it's I, but it's also like the idea that like you're giving yourself this opportunity, like because you started that that Zoom show, like you were saying, Zoom shows all around. Yeah. And you're like, I remember we had a we had a um, we had a party here and we were all outdoors. Because it was mm-hmm. pandemic times. Yes, yes. And everyone was six feet away, twelve feet away, actually. And, yeah, and, and we we're, were all wearing gas masks. We're all wearing gas masks <laughs> and 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 uh, snowsuits. And suits. because you know nothing touches <laughs> but nothing. Like, the thickest fabric. The thickest fabric. Suits. And from across yeah. the pool, me and you were talking about this idea you had. Yeah. And you're like, I don't want to like ask your opinion about some stuff, and I was yeah. like, half drunk. I'm like, you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys talking about? And you were like, oh, you know, the comedy and Zoom show, the like, podcast. And I have this idea. And I was like, well, let me tell you. And I, I feel like I went to do a 10 minute rant of like, no, you shouldn't do it like this. You should be the host and you should be on the show. And you would like this. It's like, you should do this. Like, you know. And then yeah. I think, I think uh, Rachel was right next to just like, you know, usually I don't say this, but Mike is right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout out, Rachel. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I do remember having that conversation. I did start that show. I did not listen to anything you said. Uh, I didn't want to host it. I just wanted to like be behind the scenes and run the mm-hmm. Zoom. And I was just like, Zoom controls. You're muted. Yeah, yeah. And, um, <laughs> and that was like enough for me. Uh, then my host dropped out. Yep. And I ended up having to host it. The universe. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah, seriously. Exactly. Uh, and then every once in a while, a comic would drop out. And mm-hmm. it just started out as me being like, oh, I've got to I've gotta talk for five extra minutes because uh, I lost a comic. And uh, then the uh, professional comments I have on the show started going, hey, that was technically a set. Like, mm. yeah. kind of just did <laughs> yeah. a set. So maybe you should just keep doing a set. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, like, I think that, like, I don't know what kind of, like, Colombian witchcraft you use. I don't know what your brand is. But, um, <laughs> yeah, exactly what you said I should do is what actually happened. Um, and we've been on, like, a little bit of a hiatus, but um, the hand-up comedy open mic show is going to start up again. But that's that's the thing. It's, it's like, like yeah. it's it's sort of, I mean, maybe taking the more dancer terms, it's like, it's like you just tried it. You went yeah, and did yeah. a choreography thing. You went and did a piece thing. You Maybe nobody saw it. Maybe a couple people saw it. Maybe you just did it for like this thing. And then you just like dropped it and like moved on to the next thing. Yeah. Because it's like, I always feel like it's um, it's like a chapter in your book. And mm-hmm. you're you, like, you started that book. And now you're going to keep going. Like, and, and that's what that that show was, I yeah. feel like. And I remember we were sitting here watching, I, I can't remember if it was the first or second show. But it was definitely one of the, like, one of the first. Mm-hmm. And we were watching it. And I think you were the last co- comedian to go on. You were hosting it, but you know the, your your judges, people, yeah. uh, critics were there. Professional, professional ones. They were there, and they were kind of like guiding everybody. Mm-hmm. And then you came up on the end, and then you were like, "That was my first. And I was like, "We were like, "What? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> like you murdered everybody in your show, and you're like, yeah. "I'm just gonna go last." And that's like, <laughs> and you were like, you were like so bubbly and so like up there. You had your brick wall background. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "That's a yeah. real professional." Yeah. Exactly. Go on Amazon. Yeah, yourself. It totally it worked. Well. It totally worked, and like you like killed it. Yeah. And then and then you were like bright, bubbly. And then afterwards, like uh, yeah, that's me. That's me. 
<laughs> I was like, that's the Dre I know. <laughs> um, yeah. And and it was so good. And uh, I just knew right there. I was like, damn, you're gonna do really good at this. Like, mm -hmm. and that's why I like. She's gonna be on TV. Yeah. She's gonna be on the <laughs> yeah. late night show. <laughs> and us and all of our friends, because then you did um, the Hollywood Improv. No. Yeah, well, yeah, that was, yeah, most recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got um, booked on the Hollywood Improv, and it was like, you know, it, it was only a five-minute um, set, but I think it went, I think it went well. Really great. good. Yeah, um, yeah, I got on the, like, short list to, to be booked uh, again, um, so I was supposed to do a show next month, but I'll be at Lindy Focus, so hopefully in January I have to do the improv again. So cool. I mean, was, I mean, for us, I think it was really fun because we went with Brett and Rachel, mm -hmm. and then we show up, and then like, oh, there's like Julius and Holly, and then our, our like, <laughs> we have some other friends from the Burlesque world, like Christopher and uh, yeah, we have some friends that were just yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then there was like all these other people, and then like all like half of Atomic showed up in the room, <laughs> 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 and we're like, we're in the gear going like, they know this is a comedy show. Right? <laughs> They know it's like rated R and they're gonna be like in their faces and we're like looking at this, are they liking it? Are they liking it? And then you came up and you fucking killed it. I still remember, like this is so funny, like I remember like how you left the stage about like asking a white guy next to you. Oh dude. So <laughs> yeah. fucking genius. And that guy, oh, that guy did not look like he was amused. Yeah. Like he did not love that at all. Um it's like, you know, I feel bad for like I feel bad for white guys, you know? Like, <laughs> That's why you can't, like, yeah, you can't get away from him. I can't, I can't. It's like every once in a while I just want to throw him a bone, you know, because I can throw me a bone or whatever. But it's just like, uh, but like, I, you know, like, I could, I watched that guy the entire show because like, because the, the crowd was just like, there wasn't a lot of white people in the crowd, to yeah. be fair. And so it's like, okay, if I'm going to use this joke, I got to find, I got to find a, a white guy. And so I was watching the entire show, and like every act was just like shitting on white dudes. <laughs> and like, I just got more and more frustrated. There was one moment during my set where he laughed, and I was like, "No, he's all right. We're really yeah, okay, okay. Right. He's, he's in there. He's in there." And then, um, and then I was like, <laughs> right before it happened, he like he had this like you know he had an, yeah he had a look on his face like he was not going to see Wakanda forever, you know? And I was like, <laughs> it's like, I'm doing it anyways. I already, like, let up. <laughs> it was fucking yeah. perfect. It, yeah. it was so good. And it was just, like, that moment where it was like, oh, you know, like, hey, what's your name? And it's just like, oh, 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 oh. And I was just like, oh, I'm sorry, no, I'm trying to quit. And it was just like, <laughs> yeah, and it was just like I just know he was going to, like, rage quit. The entire time, like, um, but it, it was a fun show. It was a fun night, and uh, yeah, yeah it, people came out for me, and I, that was that was really special. That mm -hmm. like people saw, I, I posted about it, and people were like, "We're gonna support yeah, you yeah. and get out there." It was there. so much fun. It was so much fun. And yeah, I think um, one of the best things I like about your comedy so far that I've seen is like, is it it it. it it feels like you. It feels like this right now. It yeah. feels like every time we've been to a bar, like you get a story and it's, it's to totally you. And so every time you get up there, you tell the stories that I, that I like I've heard and or I've seen or kind of like like a flash. And and then you tell a story that I'm like, oh, I don't know that side. Of the <laughs> <laughs> this is so fun. Like, and, but it's, it's so yeah. great. It's think, so amazing. Yeah. You're such a great storyteller in general. Mm -hmm. And to see you on stage, like we've, we've seen you tell stories for years. But to see you on stage telling these other stories and these things that, like you said, like this other side of you that we don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's so great. Uh, and to see other people's reaction, though, to your storytelling, you know, it, it it's really yeah. special. It's really amazing. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it feels so foreign. I, I think that is other shout out Jen Hollywood um she posted something on Facebook about how she had to like be an MC for something at like work mm -hmm. or something and how it just feels like you know she got complimented or whatever and how it just feels like some an out of body experience and I, I really identified with mm -hmm. that as like when you guys asked me to do um my nice swing mm -hmm. it was just like you know, afterwards, people were just like, oh, you're so fun or whatever. And I'm just like, I don't know what happened. Yeah. 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 Like, it feels like, like I wake up from like a coma and people were just like, great job. And I'm like, when I was out of it, like, yeah. <laughs> what did I say? Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, it, it, I know that like, and I think the more I do it, the more I feel like, okay, this is, this is me. Mm hmm. But like I'm generally speaking, I think more reserved and quiet and whatever. I like to just kind of live my life, watching everything happen. Yeah. 
Um, but having like focus on me is just not something I'm, I like or am used to. Mm-hmm. And here I am doing uh, <laughs> but, but, um Concrete those fears. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I think there, there was like, you know, there's something kind of like wild and like big about the way that I do comedy, but it still feels like it's authentically me. It's yeah. definitely authentically my life and my stories. But, yeah. uh, you mentioned earlier about uh, Lady Focus. Yes. And you're playing a big role. I or, yeah. or this, is your, this is your first time going there and you're hired. Yes, yes. I, I've only actually been uh, one other time. Mm-hmm. And uh, that, that event is huge. And like, there's so much going on. And so I'm really like looking forward to like going and having something that feels more like a laser focus of why I'm there and mm-hmm. what I'm meant to do. So uh, this year, um, They've asked me to help uh, organize the lectures that they're putting on. Oh, that's so cool. Um, yeah, so I've done a little bit of that at uh, two other events now this year. And so they're now giving me um, like a one talk each day. And so it's going to be like really fun to come up with uh, the topics and find the experts that are going to talk yes. about these things. And so I'm really excited about it, like to talk about some things maybe that are new and fun yeah. and uh like try to approach things in a different way and so we'll could you, see how it goes could you give us a sneak peek of the, like one of the topics or something? so so i and so nothing's been um approved yet like yeah. but uh some things that i had ideas about i'd really love to talk about um i'd like to have a panel of just people who uh, want to talk about the importance of solo jazz movement oh yes mm-hmm. and like especially you know i think people think about it as its own thing, but like how is solo jazz improving our partner dancing, how is solo jazz a part of knowing ourselves, our own bodies. Um, I think that would be a really great one. I really like to do something for the elders in the community. Mm-hmm. Um, I know that we do that stuff all the time, but I like, really like to feature an elder. I'd like to talk to organizers about how do we make sure that our elders are represented at all of our dance mm-hmm. events and are taken care of and have uh, the support that they need at all yeah. of our dance events. Um, you know, physically getting from here to there, right. making sure that they have like uh, you know the support that they need to travel or whatever. Will you be uh, like emceeing that or like kind of leading the discussion, or will be going to set I, it up and watch it? Yeah, I think that like uh, I think that it's there's space for that, um, but I also want to make sure that the right people are right. Mm-hmm. you know. So yeah. if we get to a topic that um, the Lindy Focus team says, oh yeah, we really want to do this, I'm going to make sure that I look at all the people who could potentially participate and say, who's, who's the person who should be doing this? Yeah. So um, definitely want to leave space on the panel for the people who should be talk- doing those talks. Let's, nice. let's talk about that sometime because the burlesque world does an amazing job yeah, really of taking yeah. care of their legends. Yeah. Awesome. And there's all kinds of really cool programs and things that support the legend. So yeah. I'd love to pass that on to the Lindy. That would be great. As well. yeah, yeah. I would, I would definitely like to talk to you about that. And I, I hope that's one of them that they, they choose. Um, but we just kind of came up with all of these different sort of ideas about why, why switch dancing, like a thing that is, um, I don't know why switch dancing considered like different than just regular dancing. Right. Like, yeah. Why does it need that t- uh, like extra title towards it? Right, yeah. right. Like, well, why is, um, you know, what about the languages that we, the language we use in lessons and um, how can we make, uh, like, our spaces more inclusive just by the way we talk about things? Right. How do we, like, remove some of those um, blockers, the little mic- microaggressions towards, mm-hmm. uh, you know, queer dancers, towards dancers of color, towards cis white dancers I, I think that like there is a little bit of our culture right now that's um wanting so much to support the minority classes in our uh, spaces that we tread on and sometimes hurt people who have great intentions but have failed you know like mm-hmm. just how yeah. do we like bring like uh, how do we bring people in like how do yeah. we um make it feel like a warm and inviting place for everybody but like uh there's a lot of you know, topics, ideas, and we'll see what they... Those decide. are really good. I mean, especially especially that one right there. Like, I feel mm-hmm. like um, a lot of the times um, that those topics that you just mentioned mm-hmm. just now um, are repeated a lot. And mm-hmm. I, I think a lot of people kind of say their piece and they, they, they talk about it in, in their kind of perception of it all. 
<clears throat> and I know this because I, I feel like this is a note that I got a long time ago from uh, like past MCs at, at Lindy Focus. And it's just like, oh, you don't need to talk about it. I was like, actually, like it should be talked about like constantly. And it's not for necessarily maybe you, maybe you feel like you're good about it and that's okay, whatever you feel like. But there's tons of people coming through these doors all the time. Yeah, they're, and they're brand, brand new. new. Yeah. And then they always need an introduction. It's the same thing to be said. It's like, I will teach the, like, the tranky do 50,000 yeah, million times sure. until everybody in the world knows it. And then I could take a break from the teacher. But like, until then, like, every time I have a brand new uh, amount of people in front of me, like, they don't know what I know. And they that's don't know true, those, yeah. the history that it comes along with it. And so every topic you just said, I'm just like, oh yeah, that's going to be super important, especially at a place like Linux, Linux Focus. Right. And I think that, um, yeah, I think there are new ways of talking about some of these right. things. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think totally. the, the, co- the talk that we did at, you said cock, the talk that we did at... <laughs> <laughs> What's that your brain? <laughs> about that later. <laughs> the talk that we did at what I thought was... Um, <clears throat> I thought it was really special because um, I think that we took a topic that some people are, I think that there was a post like probably weeks or maybe a month or so before that said that these topics are boring, like, mm. ugh, I mean, we talked about it enough. Um, <laughs> and it's just like, yeah, yeah I, I, what we did at Camp Hollywood that I thought was, um, was special is that we talked about it from personal experience instead of right. talking about it as if it's um, like this so generic thing. Yeah. Right. So the panel of people talked about their own personal experience, what happened to them in the Lonely Hop scene. And mm-hmm. so uh, we just answered like four simple questions and uh, two of them is like, why did you, why are you here? Why are you still in the community? Um, and then like, you know, what is the thing that you have to sort of like battle against to be here? Right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And so in that um, talk, there was a lot of people giving like anecdotes from their own personal experience of ways in which people, well-meaning people, said like little things that kind of hurt um, them and made it difficult for them to return, right. but mm-hmm. why they persevere. And I think that like that hope element um, may be missing from some of our discussions, that mm-hmm. it feels all like a punch in the gut. And it doesn't feel as much like we're helping you up. Mm -hmm. So I think that what I would like to do with Lindy Focus, and again, we'll see what they uh, decide on, is I'd like like to really lean on resolution, like lean on um, (coughs) solutions for the problems that we've now discovered and we've really talked about, rather than just uh, continue to punch people for making mistakes, you know? Yeah. yeah absolutely. I think that's really important for moving forward and what the scene looks like in the future Yeah, too. So we're not just repeating the same things, but acting on the changes that we want to make as a community. Yeah. A I whole. mean, I remember um, during the pandemic, like going through my own personal like story mm-hmm. and that, and that whole topic of like here, why am I still here? And like the idea of like, you know, I'm still here. Oh, what like what things I, I, I that happened to me and like that pushed me away. Um, I feel like I was my own worst enemy mm. in so many cases. Yeah, where I was just like trying to put on this like character and trying to put on this like little but- little right. brother thing and, and like trying to yeah <laughs> exactly. I mean, you got the worst of it pretty much. And I think it's like it's like it's so good to like say that, but then it's like good to come out and like here's where I am now. Like. I look back and like that was that sucked. I don't like that, and I don't want anybody else to go through that. And, and why I'm still here, like, is so important because like it's it's showing that like you don't have to do it the way I did. Like you should go forward and move forward in, in a better way. So, yeah. Like and just like, hear me out, and that's it, and that's all you gotta do. Like I feel like that that knowing that knowledge enough, even for myself, like knowing the knowledge of like where I came from is yeah. helping me push forward. Yeah. How are you feeling in general being in this new role? leading these lectures you're suddenly you know and yeah. seeing events yeah and then doing like camp hollywood and, and you're up there with chester you yeah. know mediating a, a talk and you know mm-hmm. doing all these or talking to sugar i can't um, bug and yeah that's, that's, that's crazy i um on zoom on, on, on <laughs> zoom uh, I, I hope to get to talk to her in person soon um i'm, I'm meeting De- denise mins yeah that's crazy oh, yeah. um it's it's awesome. It's like uh you know like I, I left the Lindy Hop community for a minute and then um, <laughs> seven year minute um <laughs> and came back uh and I mean quite honestly I'm a better talker than they <laughs> so maybe this is like the place I'm supposed to be but um but it, it's it's 
it feels like uh, like I have like I feel like honored mm -hmm. um, that people think that I uh, can help facilitate these these talks and have these discussions and there are people that I um, truly feel like blessed to like know and get to, and get to know um, but it's it is it is very weird it's weird <laughs> to be uh, you know and it's like um, I think that like my uh, the like sort of precipice of my like prominence in the Lindy Hop community was 2013, where I uh, won first place in an amateur competition. Pro am. And then uh, yes, but you were the pro set. And um, <laughs> and then I just sort of dropped the mic and was like, I'm out. <laughs> I did this. I won it. I'm out. So I feel like a lot of what like a lot of uh, people and rightfully so are like who this bitch and yeah. <laughs> I know uh, and and I think that that's like also okay like I think that like it's not what I would what you know I would have expected to see as an MC mm -hmm. or facilitator of these talks but I think that it makes it better somehow that people are like oh you don't have to be the person who wins every competition right. to be right. a part of this community and to be like um, you know featured in, in some way. Absolutely. Know? Yeah. Yeah. I hadn't thought of that before, but that's that's so true for sure. I thought of him in, in a in a sense of like the like no preconceived notion of who you are, who you mm. might be. Is just like you get to we all get to learn who you are because you're there now. And yeah. we're like we're captivated by it. Like the, yeah. the the way you tell a story, the way you are uh speaking on the microphone, the way you are with like organization like that I've gotten to see that I didn't know another side of you I never knew but I was like oh my god you're really good at this like you do stay on it you're like it's really good yeah, exactly <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I remember when um, we did Inspiration Weekend 2020 right before oh, the yeah. world ended <laughs> and you came back and you competed oh, and yeah. that was the oh, first yeah. time we saw you back really dancing like really in it uh, for a long time and I, I was emceeing the event and I was like why am I doing this I'm very <laughs> 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 And then we took a two-year break. <laughs> this is a real quick. And then we're like, hey, yeah. remember that time you said that thing? Yeah. Hey, Dre. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's called, um, that was such a fun event, too. It was just, like, all of us <laughs> running around being like, people are overreacting. <laughs> That's what we got oh, yeah. with our mouths fully open. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Breathing on each other. Yeah. But, uh, and I wasn't going to, I wasn't supposed to compete. Like, I was just coming to hang out eating graciously asked me if I wanted to come and I was like hell yeah I do <laughs> um and like you know hang out with Matt and stuff and uh I think it's between uh Dolly and Dolly uh Rachel Dolliver between Dolly and uh Annalisa Annalisa they were both like you should like they need more follows and I was like okay <laughs> um but that was super fun Kevin's a great dancer mm -hmm. and um and I had never met him because yeah. I didn't not dancing for seven years. Mm -hmm. Honestly, this pandemic really does feel like a blip. You know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we all went away for a little bit. Put oh, like, right back in. Yeah, <laughs> it was pretty short compared to my first break. Um, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, it, it that was that was such a fun event, and you know, you allowed me to uh, join the Atomic family, and I started mm -hmm. teaching after that and doing uh, Meyer swing MCing things, which led to uh, the camp. Uh, Judah Book opportunity for mm -hmm. me to MC there with Connor Morris and um, uh, so yeah I, th I think this is kind of your fault yeah I mean yeah. you're welcome yeah <laughs> and, and then it led also to all three of us being hired for uh, the California Baboa <laughs> classic uh, exactly yeah. see that segue that should be so fun you're that so should be interesting I feel like I'm <laughs> and you have to do he has to do that mic test that he was doing earlier <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I hope that makes it into the it's, room. It's recorded. Yeah, it's, it's, it's recorded. It's Just, recorded. Yeah, I'll put it on the um, Yeah, yeah, we're professionals. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna go great. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be great. Um, I don't. I, I. I. fear for um, the participants of Cowbell because <laughs> I don't know what we'll manage to get done if it's just us like being like. Yeah. Like, just like being like ridiculous. Oh, my well, God. like. <laughs> You know, you know what? You like. I know it's gonna be. It's gonna be. They're gonna be so weird. They're, they're gonna be like, you're like. There's, there's like a nice shade. Like it goes from a, a nice tan, to <laughs> medium tan. And it's gonna be like, look at it. Just they, they planned this. <laughs> 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 
Um, yeah, we're definitely repping. Something for everyone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but. <laughs> but what what are the cool thing? What are the coolest things? And this is brings back to a little bit of, uh, of what you said about the inspiration weekend mm -hmm. and earlier. Like you're being put on spots, mm -hmm. and then you're succeeding. Like mm -hmm. there's this magic to you, and then I feel like only ever happens to like a couple people, and like we feel it, I feel it, I know she feels it too in, in certain situations where it's like, I feel so nervous, I feel so nervous, I feel so nervous, and then you're in front of a microphone and a spotlight is on you and you're in the middle of a floor with someone you've never danced with before, right. and all of a sudden magic happens. Like, mm. like, I, like, yes, it can be learned, yes, it can be worked on and rehearsed on, but like when magic happens, it is like a stroke of lightning that just hits people, yeah. and I feel like uh, you definitely have that, and it's like, it's gonna be so much fun to be up there with you Oh, uh, yeah. At Cowbell mm -hmm. and be able to do that because like everybody in that room is gonna know us. Like they're gonna yes. they're gonna know who we Mostly are. Mostly locals. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and we're gonna know. Well, they're about to find out. Yeah. And, <laughs> and they're gonna know. The, so like legitimately, like I'm gonna focus on that and be like, oh, my friends are here. So like, let's just shoot the shit. Mm. Yeah, it's gonna. I feel like there's gotta be, especially if as it gets closer to late night. I feel like there's gotta <laughs> be like one person who is like double clocked in, who's like. I'm gonna play the straight man for the next hour. I will make announcements. I will make sure people know when contests are happening. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and someone who's just like gonna wrangle these cats because, uh, and, and like obviously we should take turns because you should have fun too. But I'm just saying, there's gotta be like, it's, I just want to make sure that we do our job. We will. We think, will absolutely. I think we're gonna do a great job. Yeah, because oh, man. because like it was you were so nervous at minor swing. That yeah. you did your job perfectly, you know. Okay. Like you kept checking in, you kept like looking at your watch, and, like kept making sure. All. Yes. <laughs> she came up to me. She's like, "Can I? Can I like curse?" I was like, "Yeah, just drop it when nobody was like looking." And you oh, did okay. it, and you did it like seven times in a row. She so <laughs> never felt more comfortable. It was like, oh, yeah. it was like loosening my belt. Yeah. <laughs> the whole, the whole, the whole audience gasped. Like, <gasps> I was like, "What? This is gonna be better." Uh, but the funny thing is, yeah. is then you do an event. Outside of the three of us, and then you go and like, hey, um, so you're doing great, but <laughs> could you just not say goddamn so much? Which I got so many times. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, could you just like oh, keep just, keep just this away from it? And I was like, sure. And the first thing I say up there is like, God, <laughs> man, it. That was at you. That was like, God that was. <laughs> that was at ULHS and it was the last one, so I was like, ah, I can go out with a oh, no. burning fire. <laughs> well, at wait, Camp Jurebug, I, I dropped bombs at the church. Yeah. Like in, and yeah. then I was like, right. it, and I was like, it's like, it's not like the sanctuary. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. It's, it's outside. It's, it's another space. Yeah. Where preachers preach, yeah. but they weren't, but, they weren't but, in. They were in a church. But, yeah, yeah. It was, we were at church. It was we at. Church. It was at a church on Capitol Hill that had a pride flag, and I yeah. believe like a yeah. woman yeah. reverend think, or like person that's in yeah. charge. I feel like you're getting like a thumbs up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, buddy yeah. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, buddy Jesus. <laughs> yeah, it was and, like people kept like from like after the fact just reminded me at times. I was like. <laughs> but it worked. You laughed, right? That was great. That, that was a super fun night. That was a, that night. That solo jazz contest um, at, uh, at Camp Jerry Camp 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 was it was so fun. Um, I think that the way that they did it was just super fun. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I had a couple of drinks. Yeah, it was, yeah. <laughs> I got a little loose. And, it was good. Um, it was great. It was and awesome. Yeah, people just had really great energy. That like it was just it was just a really good. Yeah. yeah, and you know what's gonna be even better? Like I feel like at, at Cowbell, um, mm -hmm. Jason and Laura and the whole team uh, are such sticklers for a lot of things. Yeah. So like, one of the things that I was like, okay, like, like we gotta work on this sound. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're gonna sound great. Yep. And I love it. Yeah. I, like yeah, that's, no, that's, no. A, that's a thing for me. Like, every time I'm on the microphone, it's like I, I don't want to make that <laughs> sound. <laughs> ever. We walk too close. Yeah. Right. yeah. Like, Damn yeah. it. So like, every time we're there. Mic. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 So that that's always a, a thing to look forward to. It's a small thing. It's a small thing. But every time I look at an MC thing, I'm like, how's the microphones work? <laughs> yeah. I, I think that like <clears throat> why I'm not as nervous going into cowbell, I think as I have been at other things, is that like because the team is so meticulous about that, it, like they're, the event is like dialed in. 
Mm-hmm. Like, it's so Battleland, I think, gives you the freedom to be like, blah! Like, I don't feel like I have um, to, like, worry about, uh, like, people having the right information. Right. And, like, like yeah. you know, I'm going right. to do my job. But I think that, like, they allow us to just be personalities and just be fun and yeah. just keep the crowd, you know, going instead of having to, like, double check every yeah. single detail. Yeah. Well, I, th- I think one of the things, too, is, like, as, I, this is my personal opinion that I gave you and, like, what was talked about. It's, like, as an MC, it's, like, it is a multifaceted job, I always feel like. And part of that job is to be, like, a stage manager in the mm-hmm. sense of, like, sure. yeah. knowing some information and just being able to relay that. But also like helping people and like the three of us being able to do that like together with your spreadsheet skills yeah and your skills on everything and <laughs> my skills on this like remembering like things like you <laughs> exactly exactly <laughs> i feel like we yeah. got it and it's it's a funny thing because i feel like when people think of multiple mcs in an event they're like one or two people hi angeli Angeli's hi. home hi hi you're on the podcast <laughs> now bye <laughs> shout out to you <laughs> Uh, but the three of us, we're going to be backing each other up. Like, maybe you're on the microphone, but yeah, like... Yeah, you'll, you'll we're wrangling, helping, people yeah, wrangling people. Yeah, wrangling people. Out. Getting, helping, make, giving you last minute information or vice versa whenever we're out there. And like, it'll just be that easy. <laughs> I just <laughs> had a mom. I was looking at you and I was just like, your, your face, you, your face, you blew me But you're kind of like, you're a little like rosy right now. Uh-huh. And I was like, hey Brown, you're kind of like... Pink and you're, you know, you're like, and then I was like, we're like a beer pause and ice cream. Yeah. Like, I'm like, I'm <laughs> That's a that's a great uh, way to end the. Now you were saying something so important. I'm so no, sorry. we're we're just gonna back each other up. Hang on, I think as part of this cowbell thing, Nick is making TikTok videos. Oh yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> cowbell. Oh, actually, I just, got, I just got a message about that today. You did? Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, I feel like we need to like infiltrate his TikTok for sure. As the three of us, I have so many ideas. Yeah. Some well, scenes. we just got. I just got a, a message from the person that's actually heading up that whole thing. Okay. And okay, Angela's coming in. Aww. She got a medal. Yeah, we did. Oh, I got a medal that says drama. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's on drama. She people. got a she got a medal uh, for being ogre dad and three blind mice. Aww, that's awesome. Can you come sing us a little yes. pop ogre? No. <laughs> oh, okay. Now bye. you're yeah. seven. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Papa ogre. Um, <laughs> Kids. Theater kids. Um, <laughs> she said, oh, "I'm gonna be old." Um, what was that saying? Uh, TikTok. TikToks. Yes. Got a message from the person that's running the social media from okay. Calbell <laughs> saying that, "Hey, do you guys want to help?" And I was like, hmm. "Yes, yes," but also like my mind started going. I'm like, "How many things?" Because I used to do that back in the day with Calbell. Like, yeah, we did the one where it was the ringing bell. Yes. And Jeremy kept hearing it everywhere. I, I, I couldn't get away from I, it. That, and then it that was still Smith. stuck in my brain. Kyle's got dancing. Yeah. That was really well, fun. he did the, remember he did the Inspiration Weekend ones too, and he dressed up as all the teachers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you I do. This video's on YouTube, definitely. Oh, look it up. Oh, I think uh, Brett Dahlberg filmed it. Yeah, and it was his idea. Edited it and put it on yeah. YouTube. It was his idea. And sure. Jeremy's. One of the funniest people. Like, yeah, he was, so he was, Mikey was <laughs> Jeremy Oth, he was uh, Sharon Davis, uh-huh. he was Wanda. Laura Keat, he Wanda. was Wait, Wanda Wait, uh, was, he was, wait, you just said? He was yeah. everybody. I remember putting the eyelashes uh, on him. Kevin with the ball cap. You know what? Was it so good that I didn't realize it was you? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you would know. I, I never would <laughs> have found all these videos. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna link it. Yeah, we're gonna link it. All the all the things that we we talk about, like us uh-huh. being an IHC and you being an IHC. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I asked being an IHC. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, that they just posted our routine. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then the routine. yeah, yeah, and all that stuff. Everything we mentioned, we'll be putting up on uh, the links in the notes. And definitely on YouTube. Yeah, you got quite the research project to do. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's, there's easy. I'm making mental notes the entire time. Everything, everything we talk about. Everything we talk about. Yeah. I'm also going to show the video that I took. That you have never <laughs> seen about you at the improv. So it's going to be good. Dude, can you find the video of me? Uh, 
<laughs> we need to do this for Lord Lakes. Can you find the video of me dancing with uh, Bowie and pretending I was Remy? <laughs> I think she has that. I think she has that. I can't find the original video. And then I need to find the video of you doing your a Remy impression. Yeah. With, because I That's told right. Remy about it. And I told Laura about it. And I told Laura about it. And she was like, uh huh, uh huh. And then she goes, wait, am I the dog? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was a whole inside story yeah. of Andrea dancing with my dog, Bowie. Yeah. Beautiful Pretending dog. Very good solo dance. Yeah. 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 Sorry. <laughs> This is the best. Solid dance dancing oh God, talk. I totally forgot about that. Um, great partner to so dance I will, with. So I will try to find that one. Yeah. Uh, I feel, I no, feel like no, uh, if I don't find it, don't hate me. But yeah, no promises. So anything you talk you about, it. you're going to find links. Yeah, pretty much. Um, episode oh, seven, so season five of The Simpsons. No. <laughs> oh, well, dance related. Not anything else outside of this. Uh, okay. Damn. That was gonna be really, nice really, 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 really hard. Uh, so every time, <laughs> <laughs> those are easy ones. Uh, but every sorry, shut up. Then we turned off Jesse and Heather, Murray Connor, you baby, yay! I was gonna say something that's kind of dance related. By the way, Dickel. <laughs> Tell them why the bottle's shaped like that. <laughs> No, I was gonna say, uh, I, I, I remember the other day, <laughs> I, a joke at from their wedding where <laughs> I called, uh, I called, I used to call Heather Fred. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I would call her Fred randomly, and um, she never asked me why. And so at the wedding, uh, when I gave a speech or whatever, I told her why. I said, <laughs> I said, I called her Fred because uh, that ginger is always following her. <laughs> <laughs> that is our friends, Jesse and Heather Murray. <laughs> Heather is a wonderful um, person, and Jesse <laughs> is, also is also a wonderful person, person, but also a redhead. And also, yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> it's a Sometimes I forget that's not just us, that there's people. Yeah, there's people out there. They're watching. <laughs> they, they do now. tend to watch. Um, oh, no. All right. About the first minute. Sure. So we're gonna we're gonna wrap this up. We always end with a couple questions. Okay. Just one question. This time I'm I'm gonna say it because last time you just said "dudo" to my answer. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Andrea, first, uh, what is something that you are looking forward to? Um, I'm looking. I mean, I'm looking forward to how about. Um, that's that's a big deal, I think, in my brain right now. I'm looking forward to Lenny Focus and just being like a part of the, the dance community again. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that this version of the dance community is uh, one that is uh, feels more welcoming and more um, nurturing yeah. than the one that I think I left. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm excited about that. I'm also looking forward to um, restarting uh, my Zoom show yes. and uh, starting up a... Uh, podcast project myself and uh, I think that's it I think those are the things that are on my brain right now perfect perfect yeah. I, th- I, I think it's it's uh, for me it's definitely um, definitely looking forward to Cabo when yeah. we were both of you it's going to be super awesome uh, but more than that because that's whatever we're going to Vegas next week oh my god <laughs> oh Vegas oh, it's been a long two months and I just need to relax with a big piece of steak in my ditto <laughs> that was really that's uh, like, that's what we. It wasn't even like a callback. Didn't matter. But that I was gonna say that I was gonna be like that's what we call the biz of callback. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm also very much looking forward to this five day vacation in mm-hmm. Vegas mm-hmm. that we really so good. desperately need. Yes, thank you, Andrea, for coming over. Yeah, and, uh, making this amazing drink, uh, for which me. is. I'm going to definitely have another before before bed. And, <laughs> uh, but you can uh, catch us on YouTube and anywhere you listen to podcasts. Uh, the video and the sound... Oh, sound. The <laughs> podcast will be up tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, yeah. yeah it's, really, hey, it's really easy. It's really, yeah. But, um, but, so much yeah. to learn. So much to learn. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody. We'll see you later. Bye! Bye. <laughs>